Hello guys, Bricklick here, and this is every LEGO 2023 set leak, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build an online presence and run your business. So with the first round of LEGO 2023 reveals now over for January, there is still so much to come in 2023 and today we're going to be taking a look at all the leaks that we got so far. And first off, we start off with a theme which has already had one set revealed, being LEGO Speed Champions. We're expecting some more sets with 76916, the Porsche 963, this one coming in with 280 pieces. This one will be really interesting to see how they capture it in that small scale. We're also expecting expecting 76914 the Ferrari 812 similar piece count at 261 pieces and this one is likely going to be in that red color on screen now and then we have a pretty modern car 76915 the Pecani Utopia 249 pieces this one obviously has been under wraps pretty much so we've only just seen the car so be interested to see how that one looks like all of those the single cars will be $25 or £20 now then we have a two pack being the McLaren F1 LM and the McLaren Solus GT we don't know the color of the McLaren F1 yet Yet, but we do know the pack is going to be coming in at $45, 581 pieces. I'm most excited for the McLaren Solus out of that pack. That one will be really interesting, but it's nice to be getting another McLaren pack within Speed Champions. All of those will be launching on March 1st, 2023, and it is likely we'll get another wave of maybe movie cars next summer in August or July. And then we got a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary wave coming our way next summer. So we have the Velociraptor Escape coming in at $35 for that one. And then we also had the Dilo Soul Forest ambush for $20. I totally didn't say that one right. Then we also had the search for the Triceratops, that one coming in at $50. So a whole range of price points and also the discovery of the Brachiosaurus, that one for $80. And then the biggest one being 76961, the visitor center, the attack of the T-Rex. This one is something that a lot of people have wanted for a while. It's expected to be coming in at $120 as the price point and he's likely another diorama set like we saw this year with the T-Rex breakout. That entire wave of anniversary sets is going to be launching in June of 2023. And then Lego Harry Potter, we've already seen some of the sets which are releasing in March. These include the Triwizard Lake Challenge, also the brand new Room of Requirement, and also some new house banners. But just like we saw with Mickey Mouse and Dots this year, they are doing Lego Harry Potter and Dots next year. So first off, we have 41808. This won't be the Hogwarts accessories coming in at $15, 213 pieces. Then we have one which sounds pretty good being 41809, the Hedwig pencil holder for $20, 518 pieces. So this one will be interesting to see how they turn Hedwig into a pencil holder then we also have the hogwarts desk kit that one for 45 dollars these are already been teased you can potentially see some of the printed tiles within this artwork which they've shown off but yeah all of that alongside the regular harry potter set should be launching in march and then for the brand new Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, we are getting some brand new sets for that one. So first off, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy Headquarters. This one coming in at $10 and is likely a 4 plus set. Then a little bit bigger, we have the Spaceship of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So some sort of spaceship. That one for $35, 330 pieces. Then the biggest set, we don't know anything about yet, being 76255 for $100. All of those are launching on April 1st, 2023. And then we have two unknown superhero sets. These could be Marvel or DC and are likely helmets. So there's one coming in at $80 and then also another one coming in at $70 and then two sets we don't know when they're releasing yet we have one for the brand new Ant-Man film that one is going to be $30 and then a second one for the Marvels that one is going to be coming in at $90 so lots of Marvel things based off brand new movies to look forward to. So now a word from today's video that sponsors Squarespace and with Squarespace you can build a professional and easy to navigate website such as one for all your Lego needs. Part of the features are that you can sell your Lego on an online store and Squarespace has all the tools you need to start selling online whatever your product may be you can present your work using squarespace's professional portfolio designs display projects and customizable galleries like i done for all these new lego leaks i'm excited for that land rover and squarespace uses automatic image scaling and image blocks to automatically scale or fit images to ensure they always look right irrespective of the placement within your content so give your website a personal and smooth look for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash brickclicker Save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, but back to the video. And then as part of next year's brand new Mandalorian TV show series, we are getting some brand new Lego Mandalorian sets. We have Senpai 
free for a the Mandalorian Fang Fighter first tie interceptor. That one is going to retail for one hundred dollars. I have nine hundred and fifty-seven pieces. Obviously, for the first time in a while, we've got a brand new tie interceptor. And then to go alongside that, we have seven five three four six. This one being the Pirate Snub Fighter. Of course, the Snub Fighter covers a wide range of vehicles. That one two hundred and eighty-five pieces retailing for thirty-five dollars. Both of those are launching in May. Then we have some brand new dioramas with the Death Star diorama, the Jewel. That one for one hundred dollars. Also the Endor Speeder Bike Chase. That one a diorama coming in at eighty dollars. Then we're also getting the Jabba the Hutt Throne Room diorama. We don't know exact details, but it'd be around that sixty or seventy dollar price point. Then we're also getting a Commander Cody Phase One helmet in March. That one for seventy dollars, and also a Captain Rex Phase Two for seventy dollars in March, and then also an Endor Layer One for seventy dollars in March. Then we have a brand new UCS set launching in May for two hundred and forty dollars. We don't know the exact details, but the current room is that one could be some sort of buildable Chewbacca, but it still is kind of up in the air. Then LEGO has started to tease its brand new LEGO Disney 100 sets which are launching next April. Of course we are also getting the brand new CMF series, the second one of 2023 being the Disney 100 series. That one is releasing in May. You can potentially see what minifigures might be coming with some of the parts they've used in the teaser. But we're also getting some regular sets with the 4 plus Disney birthday train. So a 4 plus set coming in with 200 pieces for $40. The one a lot of people are excited for, we have 43217, the Carl's House from Up. That one, 598 pieces. Pieces expected to be coming in at $55. This one shouldn't be kind of a huge set, but probably an open back sort of play set. But yeah, lots to look forward to for those Disney 100 sets. There should also be some more in the summer. We are also getting some Brickhead packs. So we have Steamboat Willie, Oswald. Um, we also have uh, Snow White and also Tinkerbell. And then we're also getting a Cruella and Maleficent 2 pack and Eva and Wally 2 pack. And then also a Moana and Maleficent 2 pack. All of those are launching in March, I think. Then we're potentially getting a brand new uh, castle being for free to two five for 160 dollars that one is likely to be mini dolls then like i said we are getting some more disney animation sets in the summer with one coming in at 150 dollars and then four free two two one coming in at 60 dollars so they're really going all out with this disney theme based around disney 100 and that brand new minifigure sort of theme then as I mentioned before, we are getting some Disney Brickheads and that will also stem to brand new Minecraft Brickheads as we are getting free that you can see on screen now. All of these will be $10 launching in April. These include a llama and a zombie as some of the highlights of the free. Then we are also getting 40623, the return of the Jedi 40th anniversary pack. This one it will include Leia, Luke, Lando, Wicket and also R2-D2. So our first time getting an Ewok in a Brickhead form. That one should be launching for $40 and launching on the 1st of May. At the same time, we get kind of all the the return of the Jedi sets which are coming in May. The one which has long been rumoured the return of the Lego Indiana Jones theme next year of course we know to start off with they're doing some remakes of the original sets based on the original themes. So first off we have the fireplace chain for $35, 387 pieces. You can pause the video if you want to read full descriptions of these from Promo Bricks but you can see they are remakes in the modern style. And then we also have the escape from the lost tomb for $40 with 600 pieces. So pretty good value on that one. And then we also have the temple of doom for $80, that one with 801 pieces so they all sound like really good remake sets then of course we have $150 is the biggest set this one has recently been rumored to be some sort of 18 plus set so I can see some sort of diorama but they're really going all out with those first four Indiana Jones sets which are expected to launch on April 1st 2023 then we'll also be getting five sets based off the brand new movie those will be launching this summer around about when the movie launches and then for like icons we are getting the brand new Land Rover Classic Defender coming in at $240 around 2300 pieces and launching on April 1st. We are also getting a massive Lego Lord of the Rings set. We don't know if it's micro scale or minifigure scale yet, but this one will be based around Rivendell and should be launching on March 1st for a whopping $500. Then as part of the LEGO City January wave, we've already seen one of the stunt sets, but we are getting some more in March. So we have the Stunt Truck Fire and Tire Challenge for 479 pieces for $50. We have the Stunt Ramp with the Dive Challenge 114 pieces for $20. We have the Circling Tire Challenge 117 pieces for $35. So as usual, some kind of budget stunt sets and then also a bigger one being the Ultimate Stunt Driver Challenge with 385 pieces coming in at $90. So probably pretty similar to this set where you have a lot of big pieces and pretty expensive and then we are getting a full wave of Technic sets kind of in the 18 plus lineup where you, you can see the ones at the top have already been revealed so we have the brand new fire plane for $100 that one 
probably likely launches in March, where the brand new 2022 Ford GT coming in at $120, where the Batman Batcycle for $50 based off the Batman, of course, and also the Peugeot 9X8 Hypercar, $200 launching in May. Then in the summer, we'll finally see the brand new Libra Crane, which is meant to release this year. So a lot of expensive and a lot of Technic sets are on the way. And then for LEGO Creator, we've already seen one of the unrevealed sets being the camper van, but we also are getting a full wave of sets in March. So these include the brand new Space Shuttle, 144 pieces for $10. The Magical Unicorn, 145 pieces for $10 again. The Vintage Motorcycle, 128 pieces for $15. The Exotic Pirate coming in at 253 pieces for $25. And the Little Dogs for 475 pieces for $30. So obviously a lot of budget creator sets like we always see, just like the Rabbit, which is releasing in January. Then we are also getting a bigger set being the Cozy House coming in at that $60 price point with just over 800 pieces. So a lot of sets coming out for Creator launching in March. And then for LEGO Ideas, we're expecting the Airframe Cabin for $200 launching in February. Also, the BTS set for $100 launching in March. And then finally, the Tales of the Space Age is coming for $50 launching in May. But there's everything we know so far, kind of going into the summer now of kind of the rumors for these things. Comment down below which ones are you most excited for, which ones are you not. Like video, subscribe, and turn notifications for more LEGO videos and LEGO news videos. Watch any of videos on screen now. Remember, guys, keep clicking and breaking. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye-bye.